Hi, I'm Lukas Oschitzka. I'm a composer and musician, and maybe you know me as Studio One specialist or just as the guy making Studio One videos. But today I am especially happy to announce my first or the first official Studio One scripting product in the world. I've been working on scripts for Studio One for several years now. And I use them on a daily basis for my work as a composer and producer. And I'm very excited to now be able to share a first selection of my personal Studio One scripts with you. The script package I'm sharing today is completely free. I think it's a good chance to share a few scripts that a lot of people have been asking for. But it's also a little teaser for later scripting packages coming in the future. And here are the functions that are included. Forward and Rewind, Beat, Frame and Grid. These allow you to just move the playback cursor in different steps. Useful for editing, for sound design or when you're making music for a video. Nudge Events lets you move events again in different units and steps. You can move them in beats, frames, seconds or even samples if you want. And the same works for notes. So you can also use that with sample libraries that require certain negative delays. And you can create your own presets that, for example, shift your notes 50 milliseconds back. Ah, and by the way, you also get this macro toolbar that has all these buttons ready to use. Have you ever wondered how to activate and deactivate this option Audition Notes with a keyboard shortcut? Well, you couldn't, but now you can with the command Toggle Audition Notes. Assign this to a hotkey and enable and disable this option much faster than by using the mouse. Extend notes by grid and shorten notes by grid let you make notes longer or shorter. And again, you can assign them to a key, which is really fast and convenient. And two more macros that I really love when I'm working on a larger song or template and I want to listen to only some of my events. For example, just strings and piano. I just select the events and click solo events. Of course, that's not just for the film scoring people, that also works with a band recording. Really nice for arranging and composing, but also for mixing and editing. So actually always. Or if I just want to see my drums and bass tracks. Then I just select the events and hit show tracks with selected events. And to go back, just click show all tracks. To download the free scripting package, Go to studioonetoolbox.com and select Studio One Scripts. Once you have downloaded the package, just drag the install file straight into Studio One. Then you need to restart Studio One and then the script package will be available and ready to use. And the page will immediately appear in your macro toolbar. I hope you like the first official Studio One scripting package. Please let me know in the comments. Now I wish you happy holidays and see you next year with more scripts and more videos.